Go ahead. Start again. From the top? Yeah, from the top. Among the many excellent, though inadequately developed, ideas of the eminent French philosopher J.M. Gaillot, we must count his intention to study art from a sociological point of view. Stop. The subject may at first appear unprofitable. Approaching art from the side of its social effects looks very much like putting the cart before the horse or studying a man by his shadow. <laughs> the social effects of art seem such an accidental thing, so remote from the aesthetic essence that it does not quite appear how, starting from them, we can ever hope to penetrate into the inner frame of styles. Gaillot doubtless failed to make the best of his ingenious idea. <clears throat> his short life and tragic rushing towards death prevented him from clarifying his insight and distinguishing the obvious aspects from the hidden but more relevant ones. We may also say, we may almost say that of his book, say that of his book, Art from a sociological point of view. Only the title exists. The rest is yet to be written. Wow. That's cool. Go ahead. The, fruit, the fruitlessness of a sociology of art was revealed to be uh, revealed to me unexpectedly when a few years ago I wrote a brief study on the new epoch in music. Epic. Oh, okay. epic. Um, what? You tell me. I, I'm just correcting. Okay. Uh, not, not, it's okay. It's, I'm not fair. No, it's fine. Uh, in music, which begins with Debussy. 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 My purpose. Have was, you heard Debussy? Do you know yeah, Debussy? I, yeah. The, uh, it's a pavan for a, a defunct, uh, for a dead princess. We'll listen to it in a minute. Okay. Um, my purpose was to define as clearly as possible the difference of style between the new music and the traditional music. The problem was strictly aesthetic, and yet it turned out that the shortest way of tackling it started from a sociological fact, the unpopularity of the new music. Very good. Keep going. In the following, I will speak more in general and consider all the arts that are still somewhat alive in the Western world. That is, not only music, but also painting, poetry, and theater. It is, it is amazing how compact a unity every historical epic presents throughout its various manifestations. One and the same inspiration, one and the same, okay, one and the same biological style are recognizable in the several branches of art. The young musician, him, self unaware of it, strives to realize in his medium the same aesthetic values as his contemporary colleagues, the poet, the painter, the playwright, in theirs. And this identity of artistic purpose necessarily produces identical sociological consequences. In fact, the unpopularity of the new music has its counterpart in a similar unpopularity of all the other muses. Let me just think about that. Repeat it. In fact, the let un, me let the me repeat it. What's stumping me is the, I, I can't quite understand what, what he's pointing out specifically. He's saying that 
new, the new music, the new music is unpopular. But why is that? I don't understand what about its unpopularity it makes it. What 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 he's what he's remarking on about its unpopularity. I don't understand the correlation between. Like I don't understand the argument he's making in regards to it being unpopular and what that means for music, new music. So that's what's stumping me. You'll be relieved to know. Neither do I. <laughs> God. It's, it's just interesting. It's it interesting, interesting to hear him hear him think. Yeah, I agree. Um, he says all modern art is unpopular, and it is so it is so not accidental and by chance, but essentially and by fate. I think he's asserting that its unpopularity, which you know, w when was this written? This was written. This was written in 1925. Right. This is this is the turn of the century and the yeah. You know, the... So I think he's he's making an argument for the fact that at the time modern art was seen as fringe. Probably was. And the more respected art was classical stuff because right. it was an underground movement at the time. Here, here. Yeah. Um, Every line, give us a little something. Okay. Got to it. Very nice. It might be said that every newcomer among styles passes through a stage of quarantine. What does that mean? Okay, I see. It's like um, there's a barrier for entry. And there's a time frame because things don't come up and understand them in a, a priori. Yeah. It's it, it has to sink in and have have um, uh, things that happen that cause it to become relevant. The battle of Hernan Hernani 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 comes to mind, and all other skirmishes connected with the advent of Romanticism. However, the unpopularity of present-day art is of a different kind. A distinction must be made between what is not popular and what is popular. A new style takes some time in winning popularity. It is not popular, but it is not unpopular either. The breakthrough of Romanticism, although a frequently cited example, is, as a sociological phenomenon, exactly the opposite of the present situation of art. Romanticism was very quick in winning people, uh, to whom the old classical art had never appealed. The enemy with whom Romanticism had to fight it out was precisely a select minority irretrievably sold to the classical forms of the ancien regime in poetry. The works of the Romanticists were the first after the invention of printing to enjoy large editions. Romanticism was the prototype of a popular style. First born of democracy, it was coddled by the masses. Modern art, on the other hand, will always have the masses against it. It is, it's very interesting to hear him say this because it's so, I mean, it's- Current. Yeah. It is essentially unpopular. Moreover, it is anti-popular. Quite interesting. Uh, any of its works automatically produces a curious effect on the general public. It divides the public into two groups. One very small, formed by those who are favorably inclined towards it. Another very large, the hostile majority. <laughs> oh, well, it happens. Uh, every new season, every new style uh, has its uh, people who present it and then those who have to accept it. And yeah. then the general 
public who uh, probably games it. I mean, maybe wears a T-shirt with it on it or goes to an exhibition or just gets pleasure in it. Okay, you got 10. 10. Uh, we've got to take a break for our sponsors. <laughs>